This week, I'm going to show you how to make a simple chandelier using test tubes of colored liquid. The first thing that you need to do is decide on the overall shape of your chandelier. I chose a basic descending spiral pattern. Next, you need to choose a color pattern. I decided to go with a continuous color wheel. The colors gradually transition from red to yellow to blue and back to red again. This is spread across 37 individual test tubes. Each of the test tubes will be suspended by a piece of fishing line. So the next thing to do is cut 37 pieces of fishing line that are each about 2 feet long. The easiest way to attach the test tube to the fishing line is with glue. To help the glue hold on to the fishing line, tie a knot in the end of each line. Then put a large drop of glue on one of the test tube caps and hold the line in the glue until it hardens. This will make a fairly sturdy connection. But if you want to make the line extra secure, drill a hole through the center of the cap and feed the line through it with a knot on the bottom side. Next you need to print out a top view outline of your design. Mark the locations where each of the lines will be attached. I spaced my test tubes out by about an inch and a half center to center. Now place a sheet of clear plastic on top of the paper template. Take a drill bit that's slightly wider than the fishing line and drill a hole at each of the marked locations. Then feed each piece of fishing line through one of the holes in the plastic. To make it easier to keep track of how long each hole needs to be, I wrote the lengths next to each hole in dry erase marker. Tie a knot in each piece of fishing line at the designated length and cut off the excess. When you're done, the cap should hang in a descending spiral. Next you need to mix the colors in each of the test tubes. The easiest way to do this is to mix up three glasses with red, yellow, and blue food coloring. Then, mix the colors in the appropriate proportions to create your chosen color pattern. This is easiest to do with a small medicine dropper. To hang the test tubes, I propped up the plastic sheet on a couple of boards. This let the lines hang in the appropriate locations as you're attaching the test tubes. The last step is to attach the plastic sheet to the ceiling. You can do this with ordinary wood screws. Now you have a colorful test tube chandelier. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.